Do pets go to heaven? Well, it depends what you mean by heaven. Come to me, jungle friends. Most people think of heaven as a place where winged babies with halos on their head play the harp all day while floating around on puffy white clouds. There's no such place like that for animals, or for human beings for that matter. But if by heaven you mean that their spirit returns to the celestial realms, well then, yes indeed. The Talmud and the early sages teach that God does not deprive any creature of any rewards due to it. Animal reward is different from human reward because humans have free choice, meaning they can make moral decisions, and are therefore more worthy of actual reward or punishment. At the same time, every creature is created with a purpose, and that entity's spirit can be uplifted to the heavenly realms. Animals were instilled with certain natural inborn traits in order for us, at times, to learn from them. For example, dog in Hebrew is kelev, a contraction of two Hebrew words that mean all heart. From dogs, we learn the meaning of loyalty. When the Torah describes the creation process, it says that God spoke the world into existence. He said, let there be light, and he said, let there be trees and animals. The only exception is human beings, which God blew the breath of life into. The Jewish mystics explain that speech produces a superficial breath, while blowing comes from deep within. Everything in the world, like rocks or plants or animals are all created from divine speech and are manifestations of divine energy, but they act as more of a, a backdrop to the human being. The human being who has a more essential connection with God uplifts the world around them through interaction with it. Rocks, plants, or animals can be uplifted by somehow helping a human being in his or her divine mission. So while the experience of the human being in the afterlife is very different than what happens to the spirit of an animal, the animal's godly spark can certainly ascend back to its spiritual dimension. We as human beings need to be careful because an animal's afterlife is dependent upon our positive interactions with it. Let's uplift the world around us by engaging in the world in the way the Torah lays out for us. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and that notification bell on the bottom right to keep up with videos as they come out. If you have friends or family that you think would benefit from watching this video, go ahead and share this video with them. If you have any questions for me about this topic or any questions in general, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll make my best effort to respond to you directly. And finally, if you'd like to keep seeing more videos like this in the future, please consider donating to our Patreon page in the upper right. And have a great day!